All right, punters. Time to look at race four on the Ascot card. 80K, 1,400 metres, 80K purse, rating 72 plus. All right. Um, it's going to be hard to ignore the picket line form of Own the Queen. Uh, first up from a spell into this. <sighs> Deceivingly well bred. Good stoutness top half by Awesome Rock. Um, excellent speed injector bottom half by Patronise. Or out of a Patronise mare, the son of Exceed and Excel. Um, let's not disregard this form. Yes, knows how to stay a trip but can flash late when he gets the right conditions. And I think, oh, she, when she gets the right conditions, I think she gets the right conditions today. Uh, this trial win first up, or this trial win prior to this first up run was full of merit. Uh, very surprised to see it going around 13.0, 3.3. That's each way all day, punters. Um, the second top elect in the race, we need to go and look at the six fast flicker, second top rated. <clears throat> Once again, deceivingly well bred by the son of Tappet in the form of a lot. The progeny train on, we know that. Out of a Royal Academy mare, good speed, bottom half. Got back to near best form. These two wins, tail end of last prep. Soft trial in prep for its return. Not everything went right first up. Will come on in leaps and bounds for the first up run. Expect a new peak. If it gets back to this level, when it won by 2.4, making all, it's a chance. A very serious chance. Um, it goes around at 9.0. So we now have the top elect at 13.0, or the top rated, and second top rated at 9.0. All right, third top rated. Third one we want to be looking at, the favourite, Kishi Boom. Goes around as a 2.50 favourite for the Williams Yard. Um, well bred, proven, sets a standard, scope for more. I've got concerns of how much it improves second up behind Yara Lee and Pete, speak to me. Um, that... Is very concerning off a year break with this trial form. A year break from here, it's best form. Disregard what it did in May. That was one run. All right, put away again as a 2.60 favourite when it was beaten two lengths. And has failed to produce first and second up to the level required. So it's a query. Even though it drops a kilo and gets pike now instead of girth. All right. Fourth best. And probably... Now we're talking about place contenders for exotic players, Bruce Almighty. By the proven side, play, uh, playing God, um, good stoutness, bottom half out of a Teusu Toyoshi mare, stood a couple of seasons in Australia. Um, second up into this, one pace behind Hell I Am, generosity in second, out to 1,400 now, drops from 58 to 57.5. Place contender, the barrier is a major advantage. Fifth best, Excel Train. Place contender, included in your multiples for third and fourth. And then Sisu Warrior, first up for the Alana Yard, or I mean for the Williams Yard, for the Grand Alana Williams Yard. Um, deceivingly well bred by Gold Standard. Out of a Sebring mare, the good son of... Uh, out of an encosted Largo mare, the good son of Sebring. Five from 21 winner. First up into this, off a good trial second. The big query is a 58. Um, I think there are horses more, more progressive in this race. Must be included for multiples. Sets a standard from a form perspective outside of the lightly raced improvers. That is race four at Ascot. On top, own the queen. This picket fence, if it gets back to that form first up, of good trial form, can run big each way all day. Second best, fast flicker. The other one you want to be backing to win. 
Kishi Boom sets a standard as a lightly race improver, but have queries over the first and second up form, despite the booking of Pike. The rest for the multiples, Bruce Almighty, XL Train, and Sisu Warrior. That's our Scott Race 4 punters. Thanks. Hashtag, we win when you win. And don't forget to go to the free tits page at uh, twfhorseracing.com. It's pretty good shit. Thanks. Bye.